Hello, I'm Joe Holden from CBS3 in Philadelphia. Let's start with a look at the forecast. Here's meteorologist Lauren Casey. Hi, Lauren. Hey, Joe. A dry start to the weekend, but it is going to be a wet end. But as we head into tonight, keeping it dry, partly to mostly cloudy, staying quiet, low temperature, not too cold, down to 35 degrees. For our Sunday, after a mild day today, it will be cooler, 48 degrees. Dry for the first half of the day, then rain developing as we head throughout the afternoon. That rain will pick up in intensity as we head into Sunday night. Rounds of rain throughout the day on Monday. Some of that could be heavy. High temperature at 51 degrees, but we dry things out just in time for New Year's. Looking great for New Year's Eve fireworks and colder, blustery, but sunny on New Year's Day for the Mummers Parade with a high temperature, Joe, at 42. Thank you, Lauren. A 53-year-old taxi driver is in critical condition after he was shot in the stomach early this morning in Philadelphia's Mantua neighborhood. Eyewitness News here in the 600 block of North 37th Street. The victim was shot around 4 this morning. Medics rushed him to Penn Presbyterian Medical Center, where he remains in critical condition. So far, there have been no arrests or no motive pinpointed at this time. Have you seen this box? A woman says they contain her father's ashes and were stolen from a car in South Philadelphia. The car was parked near 8th and Wolf on Christmas morning. The next day, that woman discovered someone broke into her car and stole the box containing her father's remains. Police are investigating. Philadelphia police also looking for the thief who got away with up to $8,000 from this Center City Bank. Police say he held up the Santander branch at 16th and Walnut this morning. He didn't have a weapon, only a note that demanded cash. Nobody was hurt. Parking restrictions are starting ahead of the Mummers Parade on New Year's Day. A ban on parking along the east side of 15th Street from JFK Boulevard to South Penn Square is now in effect. There will be more road closures over the next three days. You can find all of them at CBSPhilly.com. Remember, you can always get these stories and the latest right here on CBSPhilly.com. That is the Evening Digital Brief. Thank you for watching. I'm Joe Holden.